My guest tonight is a Grammy Award-nominated rapper, actor, and entrepreneur whose latest album is called Testing. Please welcome ASAP Rocky. <laughs> Welcome to the show. Man, thanks for having me. Finally, it's cozy up here. I always dreamed of coming here. Man. Oh, you did? Oh, yeah, for a few, That's man. That's something I would not think ASAP Rocky would dream about. I've seen your music videos, and I feel like you only dream about psychedelic things <laughs> involving weed or something else. <laughs> That's nice to know that I was in one of your weed dreams. Welcome to the show. <laughs> Thank you very much. Welcome to the show. Yeah, since you started this, I've been a fan, man. It's tight. Since I appreciate you that, man. Since signed on for it and started taking over, it's lit. Thank you very it. much, man. Oh, for the, sure. uh, I'm gonna put that on the reviews now. He said, Rocky, it's lit. <laughs> the, um, let's, let's get into the album before yeah. we talk about everything else that you're doing in life. Yeah. Testing. A highly anticipated album, three years in the making. You actually said you waited a little bit because you said you didn't want to release the album when everyone was releasing their album. Like, you wanted to release it at the same time as everybody else because you didn't want people to feel like it wasn't fire, which is, I mean, that's a really confident move. Why three years in the, way, in the, way, in the making, and why release it now? I don't know. To me, it seems like this year, especially 2018, hip-hop, all the pros and vets, everybody's been dropping albums. Right. And they all been good, you know? I think this is a great time. That's basically what I was trying to articulate, you know? Before in the past, I just feel like, you know, a lot of the people that I grew up loving or people that were making amazing music, they got quiet for a minute, including myself. Right. It's like this year, everybody laid an album. Everybody's Kanye, dropping at the same time. You know, yeah. Right, and sure. you, you, were, you were born and raised in New York. Yes. Sir. Right, New York rapper, through and through. Yeah. Your, your parents, your parents even named, I, like, I was like, is this true? Your parents <laughs> named you and your sister after Rakim and Eric B? Yeah. <laughs> so, like, hip-hop is deep in your blood. Yes, it is. Do you, like, I've seen, I've seen the, 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 the battle is back again. It's a very nice one this time between, like, New York versus, you Chicago, know, what? like, Chicago versus uh -huh. L.A. Uh -huh. There's the whole, like, Compton versus, like, what do you think separates New York rappers from everyone else? Well, modern or past? No, rap? modern, modern. I mean, like, now. I think everything is just a, a big melting pot, especially America, right? Like, right. it's hard to even identify somebody's region of rap from the way that they rap. I don't really think anybody stands out, even though there's a few artists who have, like, this distinguished New York sound. Right. But, yeah, for the most part, everybody's music just sounds, like, dynamical and just, you know, similar to the other person's in some way, not to diss anybody, so. <laughs> Yo, you, you say you don't want to diss anybody, but I've, I, I listened to, to songs on the album, and there's one track where I feel like you are specifically dissing... You call them mumble rappers. <laughs> and, like, I was just, like, as a fan of mumble rap, <laughs> I was, like... I literally sat back and I was, like, really, ASAP? You going to send him again and do them and bring him away? <laughs> what are you trying to say, man? You know, I love mumble... I love certain mumble rappers, but right. it's, like, kind of oversaturated. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Shout-outs Lil Uzi and Playboy Cardi all day, man. Rock stars. Do you, are, you, are you not t tempted sometimes to mumble rap? Because I feel like I could, like, I could mumble rap. It's just, like, like the flow and... And then my Jake. And then my... And then my... And then my... And then my... Hey, uh, you looking for a record deal? I'm... I'm ready. Are you Come kidding on, let's me? Get let's get it. Let's get it. It's just... Tell me right now. Actually, actually, it's, it, it's funny, it's funny that you bring that up, because you, you are not just a rapper, you're an executive as well, you're in the business. Uh, a lot of people refer to you as a fashion icon, they go, like, you're always on the forefront of what's happening in fashion. Uh, sometimes people speak to you more about fashion than rap, <laughs> in fact, which is, which is pretty insane. Yeah. And then there's this secret organization that, that is connected to you somehow that no one speaks about or is allowed to speak about. I won't say what is org, yeah. but... But what is Org doing? Well, Org is a collective of young creatives from artists to musical artists, you know, and uh, I think we all get together and kind of, like, mastermind how we want to take over, manipulate, or change, you know, the, the aesthetic and the way things are in culture, music, film, fashion, and art, you know? That's all we do. It's just a ton of artists, and we try to, like, rekindle that free spirit living and just kind of, like, making do-it-yourself kind of stuff and just being ahead of the curve and raising a bar, that's really it. It's interesting you say that because I feel like that has become one new element of hip-hop that's been really exciting, is that 
is that hip hop artists have now taken control of the culture that they're mm -hmm. creating, not just the music. Mm -hmm. So now you see people like Frank Ocean coming out and th there's a brand attached to him. And then you, you, know, you, you see people like Tyler, the creator, come out and go like, yo, I've got clothes that go with who I am. I've got a style that I represent. I'm not gonna let someone else get rich of this. That's what Org is about. The sound should, I feel like your sound should match your outfit. Your outfit should match your video. Your video should match your girlfriend, you know? It's one of those kind of things. Man. Wow. <laughs> so everything's aesthetic, man. You walk into my house, it's feng shui and it's just vibes. And you know, I interior decorated everything myself. You know, I feel like that's what we push. I don't know if everybody's, you know, down for that or if that's just their morals and standards, but that's what we push, that's where we live. Right. Also, I got a surprise for you today, man. Speaking of all, I hope I didn't. You got a, you got a, like a surprise. I got a little surprise, man. Hopefully you like these. These are made by all. This is our new sneakers right here. That's for you, Trev. Oh, I, I left the O-R off your name. Wait, 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 wait. I was told that you were designing a pair of sneakers with Under Armour and that they were, like, secret, like, no one's allowed to talk about them. Well, it's, it's a couple wait, are these, of... Are these the secret shoes? Those are the secret shoes. You man. brought me secret shoes? I'm supposed to secret shoes, man. <laughs> you brought me secret shoes? <laughs> Are you being serious right now? I hope you like them. It's a little complicated to take them out. You might need some assistance with that. <laughs> Yo, these aren't even out yet. Nah, not, not yet. Next month. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. Can I just tell you, you've made, you've made my life. I, I grew up in a world where I'd wear shoes after people. <laughs> <laughs> and now I'm wearing them before all of y'all. <laughs> Available now. Make sure you go out and get it.